going on guys? Crypto Renegade again here for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Centrifuge, which is a very critical part of the Polkadot ecosystem and a real diamond in the rough. There's no time to take your chips down. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. But before I jump into the content, I just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto updated for 2021. It's 100% free, so check that out in the description and it will also be pinned in the comments below. All right, let's get started. All right guys, welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about the future of Polkadot and its impacts on the crypto ecosystem. Today, I am continuing my series of Polka projects, which includes all of the current projects in active development in the Polkadot realm. This is actually really exciting as there are a lot of projects that we are gonna be covering here. So stay tuned and subscribe because some of these projects can make you lots of money very quickly if you play your cards right. So let's talk about Centrifuge, what it is, what problems it solves, its native RAD token, and more. So what is Centrifuge? Centrifuge is the protocol for decentralized asset finance. Borrowers can access bankless liquidity and investors can earn attractive yields from an open marketplace of asset pools. Centrifuge provides the gateway to access DeFi liquidity using their suite of open source tools, Tinlake, Centrifuge Change, and a P2P protocol. Decentralized finance, or DeFi, has cracked the code for a financial system independent of centralized banking and currencies. Powered by the community, DeFi aims to build the most efficient global finance grid that distributes money in a fair and trustless way. Putting it simply, it's an open, decentralized platform to connect the global financial supply chain. It allows any business to transact while maintaining ownership of their own data, including their validated company details, their reputation, business relationships, and subsequent transactions. So how does this all work? Well, imagine you hold assets like a car loans, trade invoices, music streaming royalties, legal documents that entitle you to cash at some point as an asset originator. You can use Tinlink, more on this later, to turn these assets into non-fungible tokens, NFTs, with all of the necessary legal documentation attached. You can also create an asset pool called securitization in traditional finance and then issue two kinds of ERC-20 tokens. Centrifuge calls them TIN tokens and DROP tokens. The vision of Centrifuge is to bring the counterparties of the financial supply chain both closer together and in the open by creating a worldwide network of buyer-supplier relationships, a global business graph. By joining Centrifuge, participants can access a new generation of applications and services for the financial supply chain. Global B2B spend, AKA all invoices sent around the world, amounts to roughly $180 trillion. With payments terms at an average of 60 days, businesses and especially small and medium enterprises need financing to bridge that gap. It is one of the main reasons that sustainable growth is so much harder for small or medium entities than for larger corporations. Existing solutions today, such as factoring and reverse factoring, only address a small portion of those needs. This is why Centrifuge is built OS to allow businesses to exchange business documents, such as invoices, and tokenize those assets to have greater access to financing, thereby unlocking value that previously has been accessible. Real world assets are the missing key. DeFi is hungry for new users and use cases. Assets in the real world are not measured in the millions, but the trillions. Centrifuge's new type of asset brings another dimension to DeFi. Scaling DeFi. By originating assets on-chain, Centrifuge is moving more of the world's value into DeFi. Financing these NFT assets with stable coins opens up DeFi to scale into the trillions. The more assets staked in DeFi, the more markets outside of the crypto bubble get pulled into DeFi. Diversification equals decentralization. It is impossible completely to eliminate the centralized origin of real world assets right now, but we can diversify the types of assets that back DeFi currencies. When BTC goes down, 
cryptocurrencies go down. Only adding other decentralized cryptocurrencies as collateral can pose a bigger centralized threat than the risk of adding diversified real world assets. A new way to stake in DeFi. Drop and TIN, those ERC20 tokens, TIN link issues against a loan portfolio. These tokens are stable and backed by individual loans, but also interest bearing. This creates a whole new way to stake in DeFi and in crypto in general. Centrifuge TIN link. The asset backed financing DApp. Tinlake is Centrifuge's securitization DApp on Ethereum, which lets investors and borrowers finance their own asset pools. Tinlake's smart contracts are open source and integrate easily into the DeFi ecosystem. Tinlake uses Centrifuge chain to originate individual non fungible assets used as collateral for loans. Centrifuge chain is an open and permissionless proof of stake blockchain built on substrate. This is the starting point for originating real world assets. It enables users to bring their assets on chain as NFTs. NFTs are easily bridged to Ethereum from day one. The chain is powered by the radial token or RAD, which empowers its holders with governance and provides the incentive for validators to operate it. Using Centrifuge's chain, businesses can convert their real world assets into non-fungible tokens or NFTs. This enables asset originators to put up these NFTs as collateral in Tin Lake pools on Ethereum. Centrifuge Chain is an open source POS blockchain built for finance and powered by RAD token. Tin Lake taps into the Centrifuge ecosystem, including the Centrifuge Chain and a P2P messaging protocol to bring DeFi to a consumer ready interface. RAD is designed to incentivize desirable behavior on the centrifuge chain, so-called mechanism design to create a robust decentralized system. Owning RAD gives users a stake in the centrifuge network and can be used to pay for transaction fees, stake towards validators, and participate in the centrifuge on-chain governance. It will also incentivize validators and nominators to participate through a block reward. Currently, you cannot buy RAD on any exchange or decentralized exchange or DEX yet, but you better believe that I will be getting a lot of this as soon as it's available. Adding Centrifuge as a Polkadot parachain. So, chomp into it. Just bite it? Yeah. Okay. Like a piece of fruit, you would bite into it. Ugh. Tastes like sand. Like sand? Oh, that, that pear's not ripe, dude. Uh, he burned us. Gypsy son of a bitch burned us. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing to my friend, Bozo? You burned us. It's dry. You picked it out. Well, let's not get into a whole who picked out what. It's, I want my 35 cents back. Charlie, give him the pair. I can't. I just ate it. The whole thing? Yeah, it was pretty gross. The stem and then the, and the core. You didn't tell me not to eat the stem, dude. Did you eat the stickers that are all over it? Yeah, it was gross. Of course it's gross. It's a sticker. Bro. I eat stickers all the time, oh dude. Oh, my God. Currently, Centrifuge Chain is in the queue to be added to Rococo, Polkadot's parachain testnet. One of the first things we want to do on Rococo is to start integrating with other lending protocols and see how our assets could be used as collateral for Akala. We'll touch more on this in a future video. As we wait for parachains to be rolled out on Polkadot, it's important to note that all DOT holders that wish to take part in our crowd loan must unbund their DOT 28 days in advance. We will announce a timeline for this after Polkadot announces the parachain timeline as mentioned by the team. They are also looking at possibly bidding for a slot on Kusama to be able to test things out with real value at stake. This token and protocol is going to change the game for NFTs. Real world assets, land, investments, business documents, and a lot more. All right guys, what do you guys think about this? Are you gonna take a look at grabbing some RAD when it becomes available? If not, are you gonna try to now that it's on Polkadot's lucrative ecosystem? Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this. And then go ahead and click right here to watch my video on why Polkadot will be over $1,000 soon. See you guys in that video. Crypto Renegade out.